Hello everybody, I'm Nick and this video I'm going to talk about Blazor layouts. This video is part of a series I'm doing about Blazor, so if you're interested in that and you don't want to miss any episodes, subscribe and ring the bell as well to get notified of new episodes. Blazor layouts allow us to reuse the majority of a page while only modifying what's different from page to page. For example, the header, navigation, the footer, the copyright notice, all that can stay the same across all our pages, but the main content of the page can change quite significantly. This is where the main layout or the default layout would come into place. We would put all those standard things there and then we would modify on every page with components. Hearing that, you might feel like saying, wait a second, isn't that exactly what components do anyway? And you would be right. You can actually think of layouts as a master component. It can use the same dependency injection or data binding functionality and many others that we will see in this video. In fact, the only difference between a layout and a component is that the layout inherits from the layout component base and because of that it defines a body property which we use to render the main layout content. Now let's take a look at what we get out of the box in Blazor which is the default layout and explain how everything hangs together. I think the best place to start looking at the project is to go to the pages and then look at the host. The host is as you can see a page on the root level and then we have the very very high level HTML Literally our HTML tag is here, the head is here, the body is here. Looking at this and then looking at the index component as well, you might see that they have the same exact page root. So how does Blazor know where to send these requests? Well, if we look on the host, you can see that in here, in the app element, we actually tell Blazor to render the app razor file. If we go to the app razor file, you can see that here's where the routing takes place. And then this routing is being used to send the request to the appropriate pages. Let's look what I get. First, we have the app assembly, which is the assembly of the application that Blazor is running on. In this scenario, we're using the program.cs. We also have the found element and the not found element. And these are fairly self-explanatory. If there is a component like the index, which is the root page, or the fetch data, which is the forward slash fetch data, then the router will send the request there. If there isn't, then it will show a layout view with the main layout and say, sorry, there's nothing at this address. Let's take a look at that. Here I'm running the application and I can navigate around normally. But what happens if I enter something that doesn't exist? Well, I'm getting this, sorry, there's nothing at this address message. This is where this is being used because the page is not found and a layout is used here. I don't actually need a layout in here. I can delete this and just push this back. And let's see what happens now. If I again go to this random page that doesn't exist, we have nothing here. It's just a plain text saying, sorry, there's nothing at this address. So if I revert this change, this layout view allows us to customize the layout view at this level. And this route view, which we will look more in depth in our routing video, is defining a default layout for the whole application to use. Let's take a look at how we can customize this layout view with a new layout. For example, our main layout, if we take a look at that, has a sidebar with a nav menu. Let's say I don't want that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new Razor page. I'm going to go here and say new file, and I'm going to name this no nav layout dot razor. And that's just a Razor component, which is empty. So I'm going to copy everything in this main layout component. And I'm going to paste it here. We're inheriting from the layout component base, making this a layout. And then I'm going to delete this sidebar. Now let's go to the app.razor and change this from main layout to no nav layout. Now let's run this application and see what happens. If I go to the page, it doesn't exist. I'm getting the same message, but no navigation. That's because we're using a different layout where the nav component does not exist in. Layouts can also be overridden on a per component basis. Let's see how we can do that. I'm going to go at the showcase.razor and in here, now that I have this no layout.razor, I'm going to go here and say layout is no nav layout. Now this means that this page, this component only will use the no nav layout. Let's run this. So here application is running. So I'm going to go to counter, all fine. Fetch data, all fine, but showcase is where I changed it to a layout without navigation. So if I click on that, navigation is gone, everything is full page. That's because I'm using the different layout now without any nav. Now, 
What if I want to change everything on this pages folder to use the no nav layout but a single page? Well, Blazor is quite smart about it. I can actually go in the pages folder, which is the folder I want to essentially override the layout for everything. And I'm going to create a new file and I'm going to name this file underscore imports dot razor. And in here I can add this layout no nav layout. This means that everything in this page automatically gets that import. By the way, this can be used for anything. If you want to inject a service, like literally inject random service and then name it as well. For any single component in a folder, you can do that. I can actually go in the fetch data now and I could technically do random service, random ID, because even though it's not injected in here, it is injected through the imports.razor. Brazor is smart enough to deal with this. So let me just remove this and just keep the no nav layout. And what I want is every page here but the index to be overridden with a no nav layout. So I'm going to go in the index and I'm going to say layout main layout. This means that my main page will keep my main layout, but everything else will use the no nav layout. Let's run this and see it in action. So as you can see, my home page has this expected layout with a navigation, but if I click fetch data, navigation is gone, counter, navigation is gone, showcase, navigation is gone. So I override it for everything in the folder, but this one file where I override it again to enforce the one I want. Last but certainly not least, as I said, a layout can be seen as a component with superpowers. So for that reason, I can actually nest my layout to reuse even more code. For example, my error page, it's fine that it can just remove the navigation, but what if I want to add some extra stuff or even change it a bit more? I'm going to go ahead and create a new file and I'm going to name this file error layout.razor. And I'm going to say inherits from layout component base. And I'll need to import that. And also I want to do layout and then say no nav layout. This means that I am a layout by myself, but I also use another layout as a nested one. And I'm becoming a nested one. So now I can do body and the body will be coming from the no nav layout, which will remove the navigation. And now I can add a span here saying your princess is in another castle. So if I save that, let's see how that looks like. What I want to see is the index page to have normal navigation, everything else to not have any navigation and the error page to also have this message on top of a missing navigation. The last thing I want to do for this to work is to go to the app.razor and update this to error layout. And now if I run this, as you can see, home page looks as expected. We have everything. Then we go to counter, no nav, same for fetch data, nothing changed. But if I go to a page that does not exist, as you can see, sorry, there's nothing in this address, no nav. But on top of that, your princess is in another castle. That's all I had for you for today. Thank you very much for watching. Special thanks to all my GitHub sponsors that help make these videos possible. If you like what I do and you want to support me as well, you'll find the link down below. Leave a like if you like this video, subscribe for more content like this and ring the bell as well to get notifications on new videos. And I'll see you in the next video. Keep coding.